Hi there, I remember the problem I faced when I just started studying photography and post-processing. I wonder whether you had the same trouble or not. Imagine that you edit photos on a used laptop or on a laptop that you got as a birthday gift. Photos look amazing on the laptop display, but as soon as you open them on a smartphone or another computer, the colors became faded or unnaturally bright and you're asking yourself, what to do? Why is this happening? I believe it won't be a secret to anyone if I say that all monitors have a different matrices. Some of them can be expensive, others can be a bit cheaper, but one way or another they are different. Although we can calibrate an old monitor with a cheap matrix, but as a rule we need additional equipment and sufficient knowledge to do it. Therefore, if you are facing a similar problem, it's time to think about upgrading your hardware and purchasing a better monitor. In today's video, we We'll be looking at top 5 monitors suitable for creative tasks. So watch this video until then if you want to know how to achieve a good picture without getting a new monitor. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. When it comes to classic monitors, the BenQ company springs to mind. One of their models is really worth trying. BenQ SW321C is the best monitor for editing photos and videos. It boasts 99% Adobe RGB coverage, 100% sRGB and 95% P3 Gamma coverage. The monitor is already calibrated, although there is the possibility of hardware calibration regardless of your computer. The color accuracy and uniformity on the screen is almost flawless. Besides, there is no better way to see your work in detail than 4K resolution. You can also switch quickly between color spaces thanks to a separate control unit. Need. There are many other useful things. For example, Paper Color Sync mode helps to create a color space based on the printer and paper type for a more accurate preview, while the M-Book mode makes the screen similar to the MacBook Pro display, which makes it easy to switch from one screen to another. The monitor supports USB-C with a power supply up to 60 watts, so it means that if you have a MacBook Pro M1, you can connect a laptop and charge it with one cable at once. This monitor has won many nominations, therefore we can conclude that its cost is slightly too high. But that's why it's called a professional device. Additionally, you can use screen curtains to block any glare from the window for facilitating users integration with the display. To sum up, I will not advise this monitor to beginners, as it is really expensive. Professionals, I suppose, have heard about it, but it was simply impossible. Uh, not to mention it. Let's move on and take a look at something cheaper. If the 32-inch BenQ monitor seems too large for you, there is a smaller option with 4K resolution by LG, model 27UL500W. Although the price of this monitor seems to be the main advantage, there are also many other useful things to observe. First of all, LG displays offer excellent quality. To add to it, the model boasts decent specifications and includes a color calibration tool to make sure that you see on the screen what is actually supposed to be displayed. Without the slightest flaws and distortions, it makes the monitor ideal for photo editing. Secondly, it provides 98% coverage of sRGB space. It is compatible with HDR10 and AMD FreeSync if you want to play games on the monitor, though 60Hz is no longer gaming indicator. Thirdly, this is an IPS monitor with with one display port, two HDMI ports and two USB 3.1 Type-C ports. The 4K resolution of the monitor gives a greater pixel density in comparison with BenQ. The result is a more detailed image. The monitor is not cheap, but as we are looking at professional hardware, we need to accept that there are virtually no low budget options, unfortunately. And since we are talking about professional photo editing solutions, we shouldn't forget about image editing software. Indeed, what is the reason for having an expensive monitor without good software? My editor of choice is PhotoWorks. Its user-friendly interface has built-in hints and tutorials for various tools. With content-aware auto enhancement, you can edit dual or underexposed photos in a few clicks. Artificial intelligence is one more benefit that will save you from the long and monotonous process of skin retouching 
watching or removing background, for example. And here is the best thing. Following the link in the description, you can purchase fireworks and a huge discount and get access to excellent color correction tools and more than 200 filters for creative processing. Hurry up, download fireworks and we'll move on. The Ultra Sharp series by Dell always guarantees a great image, though the design of Dell monitors doesn't stand out from the crowd. The tiny frames around the display make it extremely eye-friendly. Dell produces high-quality displays with excellent colors, which makes them ideal for photo editing. Despite the fact that this display wasn't designed with color accuracy, the Dell Ultra Sharp U2719D is a great all-in-one device. It offers a 2K display that is just better than many others. You can rotate it, tilt or modify the height. The rotary display is extremely comfortable. Also, the USB hub is an additional benefit. Having the same 27 inches dimensions, this monitor has a 2K resolution, which is the golden standard, especially if you don't have a powerful computer. And one more option that will please game lovers is a 240Hz matrix. It's a lead LCD matrix with two displays, one HDMI port and a hub with USB Type-C, as I mentioned above. Usually ultra-wide monitors are designed for gaming or general computer use, so it's great that ViewSonic offers graphic artists a huge 37.5 inch display with an aspect ratio of 21 to 9. Ultra wide displays like this resemble two small monitors placed together on a table. This advantage allows us to open multiple windows simultaneously, which is good for your productivity, since you can browse the web, work with files and use several editing applications at the same time. As far as I'm concerned, two separate monitors seem to be more convenient, because you have two independent desktops as opposed to one wide format screen. But it's up to you to choose. The image quality is not as good as the quality of other displays listed here. It provides 100% sRGB coverage, but a slightly narrower Adobe RGB compliance. And the 10-bit color depth is compensated by counting reference frames. Nevertheless, the monitor has a full set of image settings in the on-screen menu, which is enough to put the VP3881 above other ultra-wide format screens. The IPS matrix is used there with a high resolution, 60Hz with one display and one HDMI port. The monitor also has a hub with three USB 3.0 ports and one USB-C port. If I had to choose an ultra-wide format monitor for myself, I would most likely stop at this option. And that's not all. So if you don't have enough money for a new monitor, I have one life hack which I promise to share with you. This method let me edit images without buying a high quality monitor at the beginning of my photo bash career. Everything is just simple. You need to install the remote desktop utility by Google to your mobile phone. It allows you to see the image from your computer directly in the smartphone. I hope everyone has already understood why I'm driving at. We connect our phones to the computer and see more or less high quality colors by passing the chip metrics of our laptop. This approach is not professional but it kept my nerve at times when I didn't have access to a good display. Leave your comments if you have ever used similar methods. And we are reaching the leader of our list. Finally, we have our flagship, the company that is entirely focused on creating exclusively professional professional monitors for creative tasks is ASO Color Edge CG390X. This version of the flagship 31-inch monitor has a 10-bit color depth, supporting 99% of the Adobe RGB color space, 100% of uh, Rec.709 and 98% DCI-P3. These are just incredible specifications. Also, it supports a slightly wider 4K resolution, corresponding to the professional DCI 4K standard. The monitor has a unique built-in hardware color calibration tool. The tool is activated every time the monitor is powered on, 
ensuring color synchronization with no need to use a color remitter produced by other manufacturers. The innovations of this generation are hybrid log gamma and perception based quantization for working with HDR video. This is the function that will be most fruitful for professional studios and freelancers working with high-end professional images. If you are looking for ways to lighten your wallet, this monitor is a must buy for professionals only. Otherwise, all these golden standards and specifications will be a total waste of money. As for professional monitors, all of them are definitely expensive, and it is extremely difficult to find low-budget options. There is either a full HD matrix or the color coverage is worse, or you need to manually adjust the calibration so that the image becomes at least approximately similar to the real one. Well, today we have discussed various monitors. I am looking forward to your comments with ideas for our next videos. What would you like to learn? My name is Victor, see you in my future videos.